Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Big, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. I would like to welcome you to the joy of music. On today's program, we're going to be bringing to you a very unique kind of music. We're going to be praising the Lord with music of bagpipes and organ. And my special guests are members of the Miami St. Andrews Bagpipe Band. We're going to be playing together some great old hymns and also some patriotic music. You know, in England not long ago, the number one top tune was Amazing Grace for bagpipes and organ, and you're going to be hearing that also on the program today. I would like to begin the program on the great organ here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church by playing the hymn, Morning Has Broken.
My special guests today on the Joy of Music are members of the Miami St. Andrews Bagpipe Band. And we are performing music for bagpipes and organ here at the Coral Ridge Presbyterian Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's very appropriate to have a bagpipe band in a Presbyterian church because one of the greatest Scotsmen of all time, John Knox, was the founder of the Presbyterian church. John Knox was ordained a priest in the Church of Rome in Scotland 13 years after the Reformation began. But it wasn't until after many years that he truly found what it meant to be a Christian. And in his study of the scripture, he came to realize that grace was free and that salvation was free if he only accepted it and committed his heart to Christ. John Knox completely changed the face of Scotland. We are going to play now a hymn about the grace of God that John Knox came to know in his life. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see.
It's my very great pleasure to welcome on the joy of music today the Miami St. Andrews Bagpipe Band. We have performed together several times in the past, not only in concert, but on recording, music for bagpipe and organ. I would like to welcome the whole band today and their pipe major, Jack Sutherland. Jack, welcome to the joy of music. Evening, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here. I think it might be interesting, Jack, to talk about the origin of the bagpipe. Is it a, a Scottish instrument? No, originally it came from uh, well, the Middle East. It came from India. It came from the Far East. It came back through the Middle East, through Europe, to Ireland, then from Ireland to Scotland. And each different country had a, their own way of playing the bagpipes, a separate type of bagpipe. Some had one drone, some had no drones. Like in Greece, just played a goatskin bag with a mouthpiece and a, and a chanter for a melody. They get to Spain, they have one drone, one long drone. Why don't you with, explain what a, a drone is? A drone that gives that humming sound in a band. We have, a, in Scotland, they have two tenor drones and a bass drone. There's an octave of difference in the drones. Mm -hmm. but in the melody, in the chanter, we only have one octave. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why the bagpipe's limited in the scale some of the tunes they can play. Well, I think it's interesting, or would be interesting for the viewers to note, that a bagpipe can only play in, well, actually one or two keys, the yeah. key of B-flat yeah. or the key of E-flat, yeah. which is the reason why sometimes we hear notes mm -hmm. in the scale yeah. which don't sound quite right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, because we're trying to play, play beyond the range of the instrument. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I know some of the music that you're, you're playing on the program today has notes in it that mm -hmm. you, you really cannot play, right, but right. you yeah, have to play right. it in that scale. Yeah. Jack, well, are all bagpipes the same? Uh, is your instrument the same as other people's in the band? More or less the same. They're all kind of copied off the standards throughout the world, the size of the drones and everything. Mm -hmm. And how do you learn to play a bagpipe? Are there teachers of the bagpipe? Well... We have a like a practice chanter. It's an instrument without the bag, uh -huh. and uh, it has a mouthpiece on it. It's a lot quieter. It's a flatter reading, there, and we can play it. And they have a they have a manual for teaching. We're teaching kids at the you know school level, bringing them up into the band. You have a manual for learning, yeah. but but who teaches? Do do people yeah. in the band in the, teach? In the band, uh, a pipe sergeant right in there has a class going. Now, Jack, uh, we've been playing concerts and recordings together for, I guess, the past five or six years, and you have always been the pipe major. Yeah. How do you get to be a pipe major? That's well, the most important also, also person yes. in the band, isn't always, it? I uh, formed the band. You formed, formed the, the band? band? From the beginning, yeah. I see. Some, a uh, couple of pipers came to me and said they like to form a pipe band. Uh -huh. So we started forming a pipe band. And eventually got it going, and I got left with it, so I carried on. I kept going, so it's been going almost 20 years this month. Jack, I understand that people in the band are members of different churches, and you yourself are a Presbyterian, is yeah, that right? That's right. And um, the bagpipe is an instrument. Is it related to any church or? Well, the way I learned the, the bagpipe, I learned it in the Boys' Brigade in Scotland when I was 12 years old. I played in the Boys' Brigade. In, the, in a Scottish Presbyterian yeah, church. Yeah, and I played there for three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't play for a long time. I came back over to the States and started playing again. And I've been playing here for the last 25 years. You know, it's wonderful because um, wasn't Amazing Grace one of the top popular tunes in England for bagpipes and organ? It made the number one. Number, the number one, one top two. tune. I mean, the paper playing. That's right. And we just heard Amazing Grace on the program, and it's so beautiful with bagpipes yeah. and organ. Yeah. You know, there are several stops on the organ that mm -hmm. sound like a bagpipe. They're old crumb horns uh -huh. and uh, musettes, and they sound very much like a bagpipe mm -hmm. itself. But I, I know the band loves to play hymns, and mm -hmm. uh, I know the viewers would love to hear you play a medley of hymns now, mm -hmm. starting with Abide with me, and that's an yes. old Scottish Presbyterian hymn, isn't that, it? That was the, the, the hymn in the Boys' Brigade. That's uh, we sang that every week at the practice, you know, at the, at the meeting of the Boys' Brigade, once a week on a meeting night. 
Is that a hymn that they sing often also in, in Scotland? Scotland? Yeah. I'm in Scotland. They know Abide With Me. Every Scot knows yeah. Abide With Me. Well, let's listen to the Miami St. Andrews Bagpipe Band as they play a medley of great old hymns, starting with Abide With Me.
Thank you, Jack, and the band for playing those some of those great old hymns. I think they are just beautiful on, on bagpipes and, of course, with the organ, too. You know, I, I've always wondered if there are virtuosos on the bagpipe, you know, people that can just play anything, and even perhaps people that give concerts. Yes. Well, there's a lot of individual playing. They have the individual piping at some of the Highland Games. Uh -huh. They have them all over Scotland. They have them in the United States, too, different, different parts of the United States. And they, they, have, have, they have competitions, they too. They have competitions, they have amateur and professional competitions and with prizes. What, what are some of the prizes? I mean, are they well, big not, cash prizes? Or? Well, they're not, not real big cash prizes. There's cash prizes and, and uh, medals and trophies for the amateur mm -hmm. piping, which encourages a lot of people. A lot of them uh, want to be individual pipers, you know. They go for a competition and they practice all year for maybe on two or three tunes for they go into the competition. I see. But most of our group, they like to the fellowship with the band. Sure. And we, we, have, we have quite a lot of tunes, you know, quite a big repertoire of medleys, different medleys. Now, in the um, Miami band, there are two, two ladies that play and also a young boy and perhaps others. Is this yeah. usually the case, or are there usually men in a bagpipe well, band? No, we, we encourage them. They, they like bagpipes, they want to play. We encourage them to play them. Do We're all not biased in any way. Do all Scottish people like bagpipes? Well, some, <laughs> some do and some don't. I'm sure you know. that they do. Yeah. I think that they're very exciting yeah. instruments. There's yeah. something in the sound well, that... Something, uh, they get goose pimples when they hear them, whether they like right. them or not. That's you know. right. That's very true. Well, we've played many concerts together, and it's yeah. been a real thrill to play the hymns and the, and the patriotic music of both yeah. America and yeah. Scotland. Yeah. But now I know the band is going to play a medley of patriotic pieces, mm -hmm. which I, I know you do a lot of. Yes. And even though you're Scottish, you're also American, yeah. so that's exciting. Yes. I want to thank you for being on The Joy of Music and the band for sharing all their, their yes. gifts and their talents. I enjoyed being here. And now the Miami Bagpipe Band will play the American Medley. You've been listening on the joy of music today to music for bagpipes and organ. My special guests have been members of the Miami St. Andrews Bagpipe Band. We hope that your life has been enriched by hearing some of the great hymns 
and the words that speak to us of the grace and love of God. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week.